We work all over Bangladesh. Every single village is covered by our bank. But we don't work in any city, any town, anywhere. There's still the same principle. We go out. So this is, again, a reversal of the conventional. We made our first principle. People should not come to the bank. Bank should go to people. So we have eight and a half billion borrowers spread out in 80,000 villages of Bangladesh. All our work is done in a repeated, weekly repetition, in weekly cycle. So our staff, which is about 25,000 staff now, they go out to meet all these eight and a half million borrowers at their doorstep within a week. So it's a face-to-face -face banking at your doorstep. It's a tough job. Bangladesh is a monsoon country, four months pouring rain, but our work doesn't stop. It could be extremely hot day, work has to go on. It's a kind of a clock, clockwork. You meet these people at their doorstep, you do your business, and bring your money back and recycle it, do that. Conventional banks want collateral. We said forget it. If you're asking for collateral, no poor person will ever qualify to take any money from you. So this is the first one to get rid of. So from collateral, we reverse it to no collateral. Since there is no collateral, there's no papers. You don't have to sign anything. You don't have to notarize anything. You have to put the stamps in 15 different places. And another thing happened. Since you don't have collateral, we don't have any lawyers. <laughs> it's the only lawyer-free bank in the whole world. What a great relief. <laughs> we can talk in our own language. <laughs> and another thing, banks, conventional banks are owned by rich people. If you own a bank, you must be very rich. That's by definition. We reversed it. We make the Grameen Bank to be owned by all the borrowers who are extremely poor women. So those eight and a half million borrowers, they are the owners of the bank. So again, a bank owned by poor people. Banks, conventional banks owned by rich people, usually rich men. This is the reverse. It's owned by poor people, almost all of them poor women. So you go step by step. You see how reverse the system is not simply giving tiny loans. A conventional bank giving a small loan to a poor person, that would be good to lend money, but that will not make a Grameen Bank. Grameen Bank is, as I said, it's a completely redesigned system. There was no word called microcredit in English language. So since we have been studied, everybody wants to see, Everybody thought there is some fishy thing going on in this bank. How could you say that poor people are paying back? Must be hiding all this. These are cooked up statistics he brings out. So we are under terrible scrutiny. Everybody wants to study us. And we became the most studied <laughs> bank in the whole world probably. Everybody has to write a book on us. <laughs> they come. With, a, with an intention that they will now blow the whistle. They will find it out. By the time they finish the research, they become the greatest fan of Grameen Bank, seeing what it is. Now, they go around and explain what is going on. 